The opening scene begins with angels and descendants of Raphael, who land on Earth in an abandoned restaurant. The angels are exiled there for breaking the laws of heaven, but they are unaware of which ones. One of the angels named Raphael blows a kiss, transforming the abandoned, gloomy restaurant into a new one. Following this, they run the restaurant with the name Soul Plates, pretending to be normal human beings. In the next scene, we are introduced to a girl named Supia, who is dreaming about a guy. But before she can see the guy's face, she is awoken by Mr. Park, a worker on her grandfather's farm. It is revealed that Supia's grandfather, Mr. Young, owns a farm in Supia's name, from which produce is delivered to restaurants. Back in the Soul Plates restaurant, the angels appear to be concerned because they aren't receiving any orders. A few moments later, a notification appears on their screen, informing them that a lover is about to be dumped in 52 minutes. Just then, Supia arrives in the restaurant to deliver the produce order. One of the angels, Muriel, is smitten by her at first glance. Meanwhile, Raviel notices a locket around Supia's neck and approaches her slowly. Seeing this, Supia wonders if he is the same man from her dream. Raviel spots the locket on her neck and asks where she found it, to which she replies it belongs to her grandfather. This revelation shocks Raviel. The scene then flashes back to when Mr. Young was hospitalized. He writes a message in his diary to Supia, telling her to continue delivering the best quality products to the Soul Plates every week. In the present, Supia introduces herself to everyone but Raviel walks away, ignoring her. As she walks out of the restaurant, Supia wonders why her grandfather is doing business with such a restaurant. She also believes that rich boys run the restaurant just to pass the time. Right then, Raviel approaches her and claims that her thoughts are incorrect. Supia is taken aback and wonders how he read her mind. She then asks Raviel if he is the same man from her dream, but the latter declares they have never met before. As Supia drives back, another couple is making their way to the soul plate. The couple doesn't appear to be as happy as they once were. Suddenly, Supia notices an oncoming car that is about to collide with hers. Fortunately, Raviel is pre-alert, so he uses his power to create a portal, enabling both cars to pass without colliding. Following the incident, Supia and the couple are perplexed about what just happened. It is revealed that normal people are unable to see the magical portal waves. A little while later, the couple arrives at the Soul Plate, where an angel named Ariel asks for the invitation card. Here, we learn that no one can enter the Soul Plate without the angel's invitation. The angels invite the people themselves so that they can use their magic to regenerate love and happiness in the people's lives. The couple takes their seat, and the girl wonders what makes the restaurant so special. Following that, the couple orders the dish that the chef recommends. The angels prepare the dish and put some magic in it before serving it to the couple. When the couple look at the dish, they don't see anything special, but upon having it, they are reminded of the past when the girl used to make the same dish for her husband. They are also reminded of all the happy times they shared in the past. With this, the two apologize to each other and reignite their dormant love. On the farm, Supia asks her grandfather about the soul plate, but Mr. Young doesn't reveal anything. Later that evening, Supia receives another order from Soul Plate, which surprises her because the order contains the exact amount of produce that they harvested today. Supia then thinks about her locket and concludes that wearing it has caused her to stop dreaming about the guy, so she removes it. The next day, she arrives to the Soul Plate with the order, but the car stops just in front of the magic portal waves. After passing through the portal, Supia finds herself asleep in the Soul Plate. As soon as she wakes up, the angels bring her her favorite dish. Supia asks Mariel if he made the dish, to which he lies and says yes. However, his body starts to itch because of the lie. Shortly after, Raviel approaches Supia and makes her wear a necklace. In the next scene, a woman who doesn't want to care for her hospitalized mother arrives at the Soul Plate. The woman asks about the best dish in the restaurant and then orders it. A few moments later, the angels prepare and serve her the same dish her mother used to make for her. As soon as she eats it, the woman is reminded of the past when her mother looked after her during the birth of her son. While recalling this, the woman has a vision of her mother sitting right in front of her. The mother tells her that she should never cry or be sad in her life. Following the vision, the woman realizes her mistake and apologizes for being a bad daughter. Just then, she receives a phone call from the hospital, informing her that her mother has passed away. Initially, the woman doesn't believe it because she was just talking to her mother. She then begins searching the restaurant, but the angels inform her that she has been alone the entire time. Hearing this, the woman realizes that it was her mother's spirit, and as a result, she rushes to the hospital. As soon as she leaves, Muriel decides to eat the leftover dish, while Raviel forbids it, claiming that it was made for only one person. Then, the angels prepare a separate dish for themselves, which Raphael tastes first. A few moments later, Supia arrives at the restaurant and claims to have had the same dream with Raviel in it. She believes she has met him before. Hearing this, Raviel approaches Supia and touches her on the forehead, knocking her out. 
It is revealed that Raviel's touch erases human memories and turns back time. Later, Supia regains consciousness and finds herself in her car. Back at Soul Plate, an elderly customer arrives and orders the most expensive dish for his guest. An angel informs him that chicken soup is the chef's recommendation. Just then, a young man named Yo-Chan arrives as the elderly man's guest. Seeing him, the elderly man expresses his gratitude because Yo-Chan had donated his kidney to save his daughter's life. Yo-Chan responds that he simply repaid the man's kindness. The elderly man is perplexed, so Yo-Chan recalls a time from the past when he stole a packet of chicken soup for his sick mother. When the storekeeper apprehended him, the elderly man helped him by claiming Yo-Chan as his son and paying for the chicken soup. Yo-Chan thanks the elderly man because his mother wanted to have chicken soup before she died. Furthermore, he mentions that he will soon take his licensing exam, and if successful, he will become a doctor. The elderly man is overjoyed to hear this. Yo-Chan invites him to join him for some chicken soup, which he hasn't had since his mother's death. Later, the angels celebrate their final moments on Earth because they will soon be heading back to heaven. While enjoying, Ravael visualizes himself in Supya's dream. In the following scene, we see a schoolgirl named Sojin going to a restaurant to meet her father. Upon reaching there, she also finds her father's girlfriend, who asks Sojin if she will let her be her new mother, to which Sojin says no. She also throws away the food given by the lady, prompting her father to hit her. Upset, Sojin walks away, and soon, the father regrets his actions. He attempts to call Sujin, but she does not answer. While walking down the street, Sujin comes across the soul plate and walks in. Ariel notices her and asks for the invitation card, but she doesn't have one. Luckily, with his magic, Ariel generates an invitation card and invites her to take a seat. He then tells her that he will serve the dish she ordered. Sojin appears perplexed because she hasn't placed any orders. Shortly after, the angels serve her favorite dishes, which taste exactly like her mother used to make for her. Sojin asks Muriel whether he prepared the dish, to which he responds that it was prepared by a special chef. Just then, her father's girlfriend serves her another favorite dish, and Muriel claims to be the special chef. After this, the lady shows her a piece of paper containing her mother's recipes and informs Sojin that her father gave it to her. The lady also reveals that she is no longer with her father and advises her not to be upset with him. Soon after, Sojin's father arrives at the restaurant to pick her up. As her dad's girlfriend is about to leave, Sojin stops her and decides to allow her father's remarriage. Hearing this, her father and his girlfriend embrace her. Meanwhile on the farm, Supya passes out and dreams of Ravaya once more. After witnessing this, Mr. Parks' daughter takes Supya to her place. The next morning, Mr. Parks' daughter awakens to discover that Supya has disappeared. Outside, Supya hallucinates that her grandfather is sitting beside her. Mr. Young reveals that the soul place belongs to the angels who are exiled from heaven. According to Mr. Young, angels come to Earth in form of humans, and as a result, they can sense everything just like humans. He also tells her that he himself was an angel before falling in love with Supya's grandmother and deciding to stay on Earth. He believed that Supia's parents died as a result of his sins, and that's why Supia is able to see the angels. She has always been able to see Raviel and used to play with him in the past. Lastly, Mr. Young mentions that there are many things that one cannot see with normal eyes. It is then revealed that Supia has been dreaming about Raviel from the beginning, and that they were in love with each other. However, Raviel appears to be cursed to stay away from Supia, and as a result, he always tries to avoid her. This is the reason he erased Sufia's memories. Back in the present, the angels are anticipating their final customer as it is their last day on Earth. A few moments later, Sufia arrives, and as soon as Raphael sees her, he walks away. This time, Zupia runs up to him and hugs him from behind, surprising everyone. Raphael immediately pushes her away and asks what she is doing. Supia responds that he resembles her ex. Suddenly, an invitation card appears in Supia's hand, implying that she is their final customer. Following this, the angels prepare a dish for her, and after tasting it, Supia claims that her ex doesn't miss her. She appears to be pointing it out to Raphael. The next day, we see Supia opening the soul plate, indicating that she looks after the restaurant now. A little while later, she notices that her first customer is none other than Raphael. Seeing him, Supya is optimistic that they can be together one day.